Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my wonderful and juicy and delicious little subscribers out there. How I love you all so. You're all super duper delicious and super duper wonderful. And how I love you so. And I hope that you're having a super duper time wherever you are in the world and that life is treating you oh so deliciously wherever you are. Now then, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to any passers-by, okay? And I hope you too are having a super duper time wherever you are in the world. So much love to you all as well, my delicious babies. So what do we do? Three, two, one, beam me up. Oh, What's happening to our juicy little hearts? There we go. There we go. Okay, they're a little bit brighter. Okay, my delicious babies, now then, in my neck of the woods in the old UK, well, the sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. Well, yes, it is sunny, everybody, but what I do have to say is it's blooming cold. So what it is, I have got my heating on, okay? So uh, just to let you know that in my neck of the woods anyway, my delicious little babies. So now then, so if you do happen to enjoy my video today, okay? Uh, and you know, and you haven't yet subscribed, if you could please click on the like, and if you could please subscribe, okay? If you'd like to leave a message, yes please, it would also be welcomed, okay? And uh, you know, if you do find it, um, you know, very fascinating. Then if you would like to please share and uh, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. Now then, I want to talk about um, some things today. Okay, so number one, we hear that the Kirsch, um, it's Kirsch, isn't it? That the Kirsch uh, bridge has been uh, blown up. You know, it's all to do with the war in, uh, you know, between Russia and Ukraine, everybody. Okay. Now then, I mean, I'm not saying that it wasn't blown up, everybody, okay? What I'm saying is that um, on closer... <laughs> so I'm really flipping military now, don't I? On closer inspection, okay, to me, it looks very much as though somebody was asked to go to a particular part of the bridge, Okay, this is only my thoughts, everybody, okay? This is, you know, I'm not saying that, uh, whatever, do you understand what I mean? I'm just giving my thoughts on this situation, okay? It seems very much to me that uh, whoever it was was asked to go to a certain part of the bridge and blow it, yes? You see, to me, and call me, you know, using my common sense, there we go, right? Well, if you were going to blow something up and, you know, to have a high impact, well, wouldn't you have blown up a lot more of it? That's all I'm saying. It's just the way, yeah, I see things. Do you see what's me? You know, and then, of course, you know, saying using ferries. Anyway, the whole lot, I'm going to be quite honest with you now. I feel that what's going on here, everybody, right? But this is just my opinion. And I feel that I am entitled to have my opinion, everybody, okay? So I'm not asking anybody to agree with me, okay? I'm just saying, right, is that, you know, to me, I feel that what they're doing is this war here, right, is a total, uh, there we go, before I even say it, is a total distraction, right? Uh, because what I actually believe, right, and of course I'll go on to something else in a moment, okay, because I believe they're trying their best to stop something else happening, there we go, around the world. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So therefore, if they do what they're doing, do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Because obviously you have a comedian like flipping Zelensky, because that's all he is, he's just a flipping comedian, isn't he? Do you see what I mean? He's one of these little, little flipping muppets. Do you see what I'm saying to you? And yes, I will say that and I do not care. I'm entitled to my opinion and views. Okay. And then, of course, on the other hand, and then we hear that, uh, you know, they're wanting to assassinate uh, Putin. Uh, do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? Yes. Now, I was speaking to, uh, and of course, no assassination is good, anybody. 
okay you know that's really not uh, very helpful uh, to anybody's situation or to the world uh, as a whole okay you know for any assassinations that take place okay or sadly any passings which uh, we have been hearing to do with uh, Russia and Ukraine do you understand what I mean I, feel, I just feel it the whole lot is flipping putrid and awful but that's there we go that's my opinion okay now I was speaking to a dear one of my um uh, lady neighbors up the road you know at the top of the road okay so I'm sort of towards the bottom and this dear lady and dear husband are at the top so I was walking around with my Ruby Tuesday okay and uh, we happened to bump into one another oh lovely delicious couple they are they're so beautiful you know they really are and uh, and I happened well we were both discussing actually okay and, she, and this dear lady happened to say that she's got uh, her and a dear husband have got a couple of friends you know who are Russian okay so I'm only giving you feedback everybody to what I'm hearing okay because you know I'm a little travels you know I will talk to this uh, man and woman that man and woman you know lady and gentleman do you see what I'm saying to you yes and according to her couple of uh, Russian friends herself and her dear husband and her dear self uh, well apparently they're not uh, very happy with uh, Mr. Putin do you sort of mean? So that was just like one view that I've got. And anyway, and you know what I forgot to mention, which was a couple of weeks ago now, flipping for, see what it is with me, I flipping forget things. Do you see what I'm saying to you everybody right now? Unless I write it down there and then, well guess what? I flipping forget, right? So, and uh, we used to have up the road, yes, um, again. And uh, we used to have this beautiful um, Polish, uh, couple are oh, they're so beautiful you know just a young couple do you understand what I mean uh you know with a, a little um you know a little uh, son and uh you know and the baby son do you see what I mean now uh what it was they made a decision everybody because they were they were very happy living in the UK okay so I just there we are I just must just say that right but uh, what happened was because uh, one of their um, dear cousins, God bless him, who'd taken the, you know, the start of this putridness, who had happened to take the old jab, 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 jab over in Poland, well, he ended up going blind, everybody. Okay, so I just thought I'd mention that, okay? And that was at the start of the old uh, putridness, what has been going on, everybody, right? So they wanted to be nearer to their families. However, neither one of them wished to take the old jab, 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 jab. And, uh, we, you know, we used to have conversations about this when we were passing. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. So they wanted to be back in Poland with their families. Yes. Well, a couple of weeks ago, their little young son, oh, really lovely little Ben, yes. Uh, well, they're both oh, just a beautiful family, everybody, right? Um, well, you see, because, you see, they're still in touch with somebody else who I know over the other side. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, so I do ask how everything is. And um, their little son, he's only about, I'd say about six now. Well, he happened to open the curtains because they're just across the way from Belarus, you say, and you know, little bands been little bands. Do you understand what I mean? They, they, how they say things is how they see things. God bless them. Do you say to me? And he just said, Daddy, you know, this little lad did. God love him. He said, Daddy. He said, Oh, he said they're playing uh, army outside. Did you see what I, I've just said, everybody? Did you just please hear what I just said, my delicious little babies? Do you say? So, Daddy, they're playing armies outside. And I completely forgot to tell you all that, everybody. Now then, I go on to another one of my beautiful, you know, because I have beautiful neighbours. Do you understand what I mean? And, of course, you know, opposite me and, of course, up the road, down the road. Do you understand what I mean? And there's lots on my road, everybody. There, there, there are a lot of um different uh nationalities okay 
So the thing is, but, you know, it rocks and rolls. Everybody gets along with each other. Because like I said before, and I'll say it again, it's not about colour, okay? And um, what's really important here is for others to, you know, to try to learn about others' cultures, okay? So I happened to mention to this Polish gentleman, because they're a beautiful family as well, everybody, right? Uh, and um, I happened to mention about, you know, this uh, war in the old Russia and Ukraine. Do you see what I mean? Well, this dear gentleman, okay, because he's got a beautiful wife and beautiful, you know, little uh, daughters, okay, um, you know, they're just such a beautiful family, a lot of the families on this road are absolutely divine, they're just so beautiful, you never have any problems at all, okay, nobody troubles anybody, do you see what I mean, everybody just likes to live in peace, love and harmony, do you see what I mean, even though the world is very much up and down at the moment, okay. Well, his take on this whole situation is very different, you see. Uh, simply because, okay, he said um, he does not uh, like Russia at all. And he especially does not like, because it was all to do with the borders, you know, between Russia and Poland, okay? So therefore, he has no time for this at all. Do you see what I mean? So what I've been explaining to you all, my delicious little babies, so any of you who even take the time to please listen to my video and thank, thank, thank you, is that I'm getting a different take on, you know, uh, to do with different situations, to do with different... Um, you know, cultures and nationalities. Do you see what I'm saying to you and what others have to say about this, do you see? But to me, it seems very much to me, if this was going to be a real... Because you hear a lot on the internet, everybody. Do you see what I'm saying to you? You know, it seems to be full coverage everywhere. Uh, do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? Yes. Uh, but to me... If this was a real World War Three, well, I'm telling you now, which something is just telling me no. And I've even had just a, another, just a little bit earlier now, uh, one of my wonderful and delicious neighbours up the road are, because they're engaged, you know, and they've got the beautiful little Rocco. Do you understand what I mean? Well, he actually came down, you know, just to come and say hello with his little uh, Rocco's little... Um, little French bulldog, do you see what I mean? And what it is, is that he said, he said, oh, he said, he said, I'd love to come on one of your videos with you, Mary, he said, one day. And I said, would you? And he said, uh, he said, yes. I said, well, of course you can. Do you see what I mean? And he's quite happy to sit in front of the camera, everybody, okay? And of course, he's beautiful and delicious, you know, a uh, beautiful, uh, dear little wife to be, you know. Of course, she doesn't have any issue with that at all. Do you know what I mean? We just like to discuss about, you know, different things that are going on in the world. Do you see what I mean? And of course, he he's following things as well. Do, do you see what I'm saying? And so is his dear, beautiful little wife to be. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, I'm pretty sure you'd be quite amazed at how many, there we go, are following things. Do you see what I mean? Well, which, of course, everybody's going to have their own different views on things, everybody. Do you see what I'm saying to you? And, of course, that's our rights, isn't it? That's our, well, it should be, and our freedoms to say and express what our thoughts are as man and woman. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? Yes? So I said, yes. I says, when you're ready, I says, please let me know. I says, my delicious one. Uh, not in that way, everybody. And I said, then, yes, you'd be more than welcome to come on the camera. So you'll be able to meet uh, uh, my uh, delicious uh, little neighbour uh, up the road. God love them. You know, they're such a beautiful couple, you know, and they're beautiful little rocker. Do you understand what I mean? He's still a little puppy. Oh, he's just would be lick the face off me, actually. <laughs> he's sort of nibbled my nose. <laughs> beautiful little animal. Anyway. So, anyway, so that's that, right? So, uh, you know, let's get back uh, to the matter in hand. So, yes, so so what I'm saying to you is, you know, it, it all seems to be, the way I see it, 
if we were in a, a real severe war, well, I'm pretty sure we'd all never go for even sight. We'd all flipping know about it. Do you understand what I mean? Uh, but this is again, it's all about the kaching, you know, and how much uh, each can make and whatever else. Do, do, there we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? Yes. And then, of course, you know, the bridge would have to be repaired. Yes, it would. So, of course, you know, you would have to get, you know, um, builders construction workers you know you know who build bridges you, you, do you see what I mean to to do all of that do you see some sign to you all everybody yes so you can see circle 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 that's just my view now for others of you out there you may very well disagree with me and uh, I absolutely have no uh, problem with that at all you know, you're entitled to your opinions, my delicious little babies, for some of you out there. And I'm entitled to mine. I'm just uh, explaining to you, my delicious babies, how I'm viewing everything. Do you see what I mean? Now then, it seems uh, changing the subject that um, we seem to still be having this uh, energy. There we go. For even sake, this energy crisis. Do you understand what I mean? Yes? So, you see, again... I've said this before and I'm going to repeat myself again, right? What it is, you see, sometimes if you give the putrid governments, no matter where we are in the world, whether it's uh, my neck of the woods in the UK or any other country, right? If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Well, they won't just take a mile, they'll take flipping 10 miles. Do you see what I mean? And that's ding ding what they've been doing for a flipping very long time. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But, um, it seems to very much to me, everybody, as though things are getting more and more, there we go, before I even say it, more and more difficult for the putrid government. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. And so they're having to do all these things. Do you see, there we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? So th this is what's happening here, right? Uh, Liz Truss, well, you know, that silly flipping bat. Uh, well, to be quite honest with you, She's about as much use as an ashtray on a motorbike or a flipping chocolate teapot, which is flipping none at all. Do you see what I'm saying to you? It's like she likes to, you know, throw her weight around, which of course, you know, she's just another flipping muppet. Do you understand what I mean for, uh, you know, who are, who are running the show, the ones behind the scenes, everybody? Do you understand what I mean? Yes. So we can all see what's going on there, can't we? Do you understand what I mean? And of course, you know, we've got the one that you cannot trust and then we've got Quasimodo. Do you understand what I mean? Which, of course, if left um, to their own devices, uh, you know, with a, a little bit of help, you know, every, every little bit helps. Do you know what I mean? Well, they can cause a lot of uh, destruction, can't they? Do, do you see what I'm saying to everybody? There we go. So, you see, we've got that situation. Yes, but, but it does appear to me that there is a lot of uh, pushback going on. Yes, okay. Now then, so something else I'd like to discuss. Now, the thing was, the, uh, this is what's really, because, um, you know, I do not have things on um, direct de uh, debits, sorry, no. Right, you know, which, uh, you know, they go out the bank, you know, at a certain time. In fact, I've got to be honest, and I did fib the last time. Oh, and this was simply because everybody, I flipping completely forgot. Yes, right. I completely forgot about this, so, so do please forgive me. The only one is my mobile phone, okay, which I'd pay a certain amount for, you know, every month, you know, so I can make my calls or do whatever. There we go, whatever I've got to do, okay. So that just goes out like that, okay. Uh, you know, because you have these, what, whatever you call unlimited minutes and, you know, and everything like that, yes? So that's the only one. But other than that, no others, right? Now, a couple of weeks ago, and something has just, you know, it came into my mind. Actually, I'll tell you what it was. I was listening to our, oh, he's a little sweetie pie, everybody. Not in that way, okay? Uh, but he's such a little sweetie pie. I just think he's so wonderful, you know, and he's so fascinating. What a wonderful and delicious gentleman. Do you know what I mean? He's, it's like he's refreshing to listen to. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, anybody else who I advertise, you know what I mean? You know, which is purely my choice of everybody to advertise everybody, right? It's simply because I seem to find them all wonderful and delicious. Not in that way, everybody, okay? Apart from the one, okay? But, but everybody else, you know, I do not mean it in that way, okay? 
So, um, anyway, so, but this are oh, delicious gentleman, you know, Professor Tim Wilson. Oh, he's so lovely, though. And, you know, and, I mean, he was doing poetry and everything. Oh, he's just so wonderful to listen to. Do you understand what I mean? Because I respect anybody like that dear gentleman. Do you see what I mean? But he happened to be going on about everybody. The, um... Virgin Media. Now, I too happen to be with Virgin Media okay? Now, how I've always rocked and rolled, yes, is that I, myself personally, prefer, because, well, in, in the UK, in my neck of the woods, it's called what, you know, the numbers are 150. So you dial 150. And what general idea is, is that you give your uh, card details, you know, to pay your bill. Yes, everybody? So this was um, about, what well, was about a week and a half ago now, right? So anyway, so I've always done this the same way, everybody. All the time I've done this the same way, right? And I've never had an issue ever. So I dialed 150. It's just something that reminded me. So thank you, Tim. Oh, God, love him. What a wonderful and delicious gentleman. Please, if you could follow him, Professor Tim Wilson. What a wonderful and delicious gentleman. And he plays the piano and everything and sings. Oh, he's just so wonderful and delicious. We're loving him, okay? And, uh, well, I love him. You know, not in that way, everybody, but I have a respect, yes? And I hope that if you happen to watch him, that you too will love him, okay? Because he's just wonderful, God bless him. You know, and he has a good heart. Do you understand what I mean? And it's something that a lot do not have. And I'm going to be honest now. They do, no, they do not, okay? They're usually in it for, do you understand what I mean? But for a lot, uh, and I do not mean this disrespectfully. I mean, I do understand when platforms get larger, which I do. I've just got to mention this as well, everybody. So do forgive me. I went off my path for a moment. I'll go back on in a moment. But I do understand that, you know, the more and more, you know, uh, comments, I do understand it's a lot. To, there we go. For even say it, it's a lot to look through. And I do understand that. Do you understand what I mean? We have to have that understanding. Do you see what I mean? Uh, but at the same time, what I have noticed about this dear gentleman is everybody, right? So this is, by the way, this is not having a pop at anybody else. I'm just making my point here, what I'm saying and speaking as I find, okay? This is my own personal opinion now. He totally respects the comments that he receives. Yes. You see? And he makes it known... And that's something so beautiful because you do not hear a lot say that. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's like they get to such a point where, oh, uh, well, yeah, it's just a comment. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? And that's not being disrespectful. I'm not pointed out certain. I'm just saying as how I see it. Okay, so our wonderful Professor Tim Wilson, well, he really respects it. Do you understand what I mean? Yes? And that's something that I really value. Do you know what I mean? So that's just my feelings on it anyway. And I just think he's a wonderful and delicious gentleman. Very intelligent. A very clever, there we go, very clever gentleman. Very clued up indeed. You, there we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you? And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. He's a type of gentleman I could listen to all day. Straight up, everybody, straight up. Do you see what I mean? He's just got something about him, not in that way. He's got something about him which is just so beautiful to listen to. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, and when somebody's got a heart, it shines through. There we are, and that's what I see in him. So if I've gone on about him a bit too long, everybody, well, then that's what I've done. But that's how I feel. You have to listen to this dear gentleman to understand what I'm saying, everybody, okay? Yes, okay? So getting back to my, my bill now. So I dialed 150, you know, to pay my bill, right? Because obviously I do YouTube videos, you know, and I want to be able to, you know, the internet as I do not watch the old box in the corner of the room. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, I do not miss it at all. I mean, it's there, everybody, but I do not watch it at all, okay? So I have to make that very clear. And uh, it said, oh, and then the message said, well, it's all online now, right? So uh, we're getting back to this now. I did another video a while back, right? And I was discussing about this, you know, if you said, 
Because you're going to have some delicious little babies out there where not everybody has a computer or not everybody has a phone to be able to, do you see what I mean? To be able to pay a bill. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So, so really, they're not taking that into consideration, are they, everybody? That's the way I see it. So anyway, so I tried to get the number, right? In fact, no, I, I, I pressed another button and I managed to get through to this um, woman, right? And... Uh, so I explained to her, I said, I said, well, look, I said, I have, not, I have not even received a letter, sorry. I said, I said, to, you know, explaining that it is all moving over to online. Do you see what I'm saying to you all, my delicious little babies out there? Do you see what I mean? So I didn't receive no letter, no nothing. And I even checked it again. I thought, I thought, well, have I missed something here? But I did not believe I did. So anyway, I said to her, I said, I said, well, what am I going to do? You know, I said, I said, is there a telephone number? Is there something, you know, some way? I said, because otherwise I'm going to get cut off, aren't I? I said, when well, all I'm trying to do is pay my bill. Do you know, you know what your woman there did? I thought, you're cheeky. I will not say the word. She had a flipping put the dog and bone down on me, didn't she? I thought, you know what? Anyway, so to try and get through... So anyway, so what then happened, so let me just fast forward, my delicious baby. So that was on that day, right? So it was about, I'd say about another five days later, right? And there happened to be these two uh, gentlemen walking around, you know, from Virgin Media. It's just really, really so bizarre how this happened. And... Um, because I sent my thoughts out to the universe. Do you understand what I mean? Well, please, can you, you know, get me help here? Because I just want to pay my bill. So, and then, you know, I thought, oh, I thought I'm going to flipping, do you know what I mean? Now that I've seen them, I'm going to flipping nab them now, so, you know, to explain. Do you see what I mean? So they said, oh, you know, they happened to see me open my front door. They said, oh, this is a, they said, oh, you know, are you interested in investing? I said, well, that was it then. I said, I said, I said, no disrespect to you. In fact, the one gentleman walked off, you know, to go and try another door, right? Because when I start flipping moaning, as everybody knows, do you know what I mean? But I see it as constructive moaning, everybody, right? That's how I see it, right? Everybody else may not, but everybody's entitled to their own opinions, okay? So I said, uh, I said, I said, well, I said, I said, I'm already with her Virgin Media. I said, I said, and furthermore... I said, I said, I received no letter. I said to say that it was all moving to online. And by the way, everybody, just to let you all know, I know what my passwords are, right? Because I have it in my old noddle, right? So I know what my passwords are, but each time, and I explained it to this uh, uh, dear gentleman, and I said, I said, I said, so why is it then? I said, I said that I cannot pay my bill. I said to him, and, I, and he said, oh, he said, he said, well, I, I didn't know that. I said, no. I said, I said, well, I said, so I'm not directly having a go at you, sweet, I said to him. I said, I said, but the fact of the matter is, I said, it comes to something. I said, we've received no letter to say that it's all moving to online. I said, so then, then I tried, there we go. I said, and then I tried twice. I said, with my passwords and everything. I said, and it still would not let me pay my bill. So it asks you to go online, everybody, to pay a bill and then when you put your correct passwords in, and I knew it was my correct passwords, I know what my passwords are. So anyway, so this dear gentleman, he said, right, he said, if you could please take this number down. And I thought, hip, hip, hooray, we've been finally getting somewhere. And he says, you know, as you get through, he said, and then they will, you know, be able to deal with you. I said, okay, I said, thank you very much. And I said, but just to let you know, I said, you're walking around. And I said, and do not feel that I'm going to be the first customer to make a complaint here. Do you see what I mean? And he said, that's fine. And he said, but thank you for notifying me. I said, well, thank you. I said, and, you know, thank you for thanking me <laughs> and I said I said and thank you you know for being so kind to give me the number so I did call them and as it turned out everybody yes it was not a figment to my imagination there has been an issue with paying online so the point that I'm making here everybody right there's a point to everything what I'm saying here right is this so 
before you decide to do that to all of your customers, Virgin Media, right? Okay, my beautiful, delicious babies. I hope that you're getting me here, right? They need to get their own house in order, right? And rock and roll correctly. Because otherwise you're going to, it's common sense, isn't it, everybody? Otherwise you're going to have a number of man and woman out there who all they want to do is pay the bill, right? And then they all find themselves getting cut off for no reason because that's what it is. See, but there we go, no reason for it. But as it turned out, anyway, I managed to get it paid. And of course, the dear lady on the other end of the line, you know, God bless her, see, she was uh, very apologetic. Do you understand what I mean? But we got it sorted, okay? So I've kept that number now just in case for future, right? But really, that, that should have all been organised and you would have thought a large, there we go, for even say it, a large company like that, you would have thought that it would have all got organised, wouldn't you? Well, that's what I would have thought anyway. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? Yes? So, anyway, so I've had my little moan there, everybody, yes? So that's that. Oh, and just to let you know, everybody, you're not going to believe this either. So I did another video, right, when I was talking about uh, how to manifest... Um, you know, how, you know, for some of my wonderful and delicious little babies out there, okay, if you're single, you know how to uh, bring love into your life to manifest, yes? And uh, I happened to show um, a, a, a painting that's in my hallway, yes? Well, you're not gonna, going to believe this, everybody. But, uh, so anyway, I'll put it back on all. Absolutely no flipping issue at all, everybody. No flipping issue at all, right? And it was put it was put on properly, by the way, everybody. Yes, it was. Now what happened was I woke up, so this was the end of the 5th of October, right? So I woke up and I thought, right, I'll just let my, you know, my beautiful little rooms in the garden, you know, as you do. Do you understand what to me? So I've got some hearts that are hanging outside my front door, you know, like the little lights, you know, the little hearts. Do you understand what I mean? Now, uh, well, there used to be so many lights on there, everybody, right? Well, it, in fact, there used to be 10. But when I had the stalker, which was a while back, decided to cut two of my hearts, you know, so it was two, yes, on a wire, and put it on my doormat outside right so that was that so then i ended up with eight lights right so i'm in my kitchen i'm tidy on the 5th of october now but then, right so I'm in, I'm in my kitchen cleaning around as you do right and all of a sudden i heard this flipping crash now what happened was because when i woke up and everything you know to let my beautiful little ruby tuesday out right well another one of my lights my heart lights had been cut and put next to my mat. So I checked it and I thought, well, how could that, because it, was, it wasn't so long ago since I checked it and I thought it was very, do you understand what I mean? Like you couldn't, there's no way. It's like these, like my, my beautiful and juicy little lights, like that. So I'd already checked it, everybody. That was deliberately cut. Now then, the same morning, every, so the same morning, right, it was only one heart. So I thought, flipping, here we go again. And then the same morning, like I said, I was cleaning my kitchen and uh, I heard this almighty flipping crash. And of course I've got wooden floors, do you see what's mean? And I went, only me flipping, um, you know, my lovely, delicious flipping painting, flipping crashed on the flipping floor, all the glass flipping shattered everywhere. I thought, what's flipping going on today? Do you know what I mean? I was really flipping upset about that, actually. So now I've got to go and take it somewhere to go and get another frame and some more glass. But look at that, everybody. And yet that's been on the wall, apart from when I... Painting my hallway not long ago. Do you understand what I mean? And left all the walls to dry and everything, right? And then, I, and it's been there, not to be worry at all. So I thought I'm not flipping very happy about this. Do you understand what I mean, everybody? Lovely flipping painting that is as well. 
Anyway, so I thought I'd let you all know that, everybody, my delicious baby. So, yes, so really that's all I have to say today, really. Do you understand what I mean? But it is going to get a lot, there we go, before I even say it. It is going to get a lot colder, everybody, so there we are, okay? It's, and it's all deliberate, you know, the old zizum, zizum, everybody. Do you understand what I mean, yes? Because they're trying to, they're, what they're doing is, right, they're ramping it up and up and up. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody, yes? And this is what they're doing. And then, of course, we're hearing that everybody's getting different, um, you know, how much their bills are. Do you understand what I mean? And I do happen to know man and woman and couples who are worried about this. That There we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But this is the crap that they're at. Do you see? Oh, and one last thing I've just got to say. Something that I'm super duper happy about. There we go. That I'm really super duper happy about everybody. You know, that you've got a lot, uh, and it's in London as well, um, who are, you know, out to, uh, you know, for our wonderful and lovely Julian Assange. Oh, God bless him. Do you understand what I mean? You know, for him to be freed, you know, uh, for some of you delicious little babies who do not know, okay? Because obviously um, for a lot of you, you will know, you know, the poor dear journalist, you know. And all he was doing was been telling the truth, everybody. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, and one last thing. So everybody, please pray for our wonderful, uh, you know, dear uh, Julian Assange. God bless him. You know, that something miraculous happens and that he can be released sometime soon god bless him do you know what i mean and then very lastly now there was quite a while back and i will say this everybody i'm going back a good is it two and a half three years now and um i don't know if any of you knew but there was a lot to do with um uh kane west everybody right and i've got to say this now because I've watched a lot, which I have, yes, a lot of videos on Kane West, right? Because the reason why I was thinking to myself, and this was some years back, yes, and I was thinking, well, why are they all saying that, that he's mad? You know, I'm sorry to have to use that expression, everybody, but I thought, why are they all saying that he's mad? Do you understand what I mean? Because they were making him out to be this um, controlling, you know, with his wife, Kim Kardashian. I mean, not that I'm one for following all the, the showbiz, right? It's something in particular, everybody, right? And I thought, well, what's going on here? So, you know, so, and with me, I suppose it's Virgo in me. Do you understand what I mean? You know, and one has to, there we go, before I even say it, investigate things. Do you see what I mean? So I thought, well, there's, there's something else to this. Now, when I was watching videos on him, and like I said, that was two and a half, three, there we go, three years back. And I thought, well, you know what? I thought, this man is trying to get his message across. But what it is, they were making him out to be, you know, <whistles> loop the loop. Do you see what I'm saying to you? When really, he, he he's not. Now, I could see this. And even when he was hugging everybody, do you see what I'm you, yes. Do you see what I'm saying, everybody? Yes, you, you have to look. If you have not looked at him, everybody, because some of you dish, delicious little babies, sorry, you would have done, but for others of you, you would not, okay? Well, please look at his other videos from a few years back. You'll see. And I mean, and all he wanted to do was just to be kind to others. Do you see what I'm saying to you? But you see what it is, they've kept trying to put his back against the wall. Then, you know, then there was saying that, like I said, he's loop the loop and everything like that. You know what I mean? But really what he was doing was exposing things. And when we actually look at it, I mean, I, I mean, I would have said with his wife, when you when you actually look at the videos, I would have said that it was more, he was trying to protect. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Now, I happened to see him on a recent um, interview with um, Tucker Carlson on Fox News on YouTube. And a very fascinating gentleman indeed, but of course I already knew all this from a few years back. Do you see what, uh, what I'm all saying to you, my delicious little baby? So I already knew this anyway. 
But he was explaining and he came across, so if any of you, please look at Fox News on YouTube, you know, and you see Tucker Carlson talking to Kane West. He's a very fascinating uh, man. Do you see what I'm saying to you, everybody? Yes. And uh, yes, I got him straight away what your man there was saying. Yes, I did. Do you see what I mean? And even with Tucker Carlson, I mean, he was rather taken aback. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So, yes, that was a very, it was a quick interview. I think it's 13 minutes something, but it was very interesting to listen to and how he sees things. Do you see what I'm saying? But of course, you know, they've done everything to, to try to bring that um, man down. Kane West, do you see what I'm saying to you? They've done everything, there we go. They've done everything there as well. Do you see what I mean? Anybody who speaks out, especially if you're larger, you know, uh, and, and you have a colossal audience, well, of course, that's how they operate, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? They have to try and find a way to shut everyone up. So we all know what's going on there, everybody. Anyway, so that's the video yes but i have felt sorry for which i have i really have you know i felt sorry for Kanye west i really have and i felt sorry them years back as well because i thought you know what i thought he's you know this is not not right the way he's been treated either do you see what i'm saying but you'd have to watch it to understand it if you know what i'm saying everybody and look at his earlier footage and then you'll see do you see what i mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with that man's noddle at all nothing at all Okay, it's just that he just needed to be understood. Do you understand what I mean? And of course, the more who do understand him, well, you know, it, it, instead of it going for him with the wrong, you know, who we're talking about, it goes against him. But, you know, let's just wish him well as well. Do you understand what I mean? And our wonderful uh, and delicious little uh, Julian Assange, please, dear God, and thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Jesus Christ and Nazareth, our dear creator, that he can be released. You know, so he can be back with his beautiful wife and family. Do you understand what I mean? You know, what a shame. But this is a, the sign of the times that we're living in, everybody. You know what I mean? So please send your prayers out for everybody. You know, anybody who you know who's going through some terrible times at the moment. You know, whether we know these um, man and woman or whether we do not, please, everybody, just please uh, send, uh, you know, your prayers out. There we go, if you can. Okay, because it really does help, you know, because we need to lift the vibration lift the frequency see how it's gone brighter thank you my dear spirit and let's continue to feel the love okay so that's my video for today my delicious baby so i hope that you haven't been bored with me okay i mean if you have been well i'm really sorry that you feel that way do you know what i mean but i'm just saying different things as uh you know my view on the world at the moment plus i've had a little moan as well do you know what i mean but anyway i always say a moon a day keeps the doctor away Okay, so on that note, my delicious little babies, thank you for listening. Until my next video, much love, God bless, take care, thank you, bye-bye.